We used to live in an analog world, uh, but with the invention of the silicon chip and the resistor and the diode, suddenly we're in a digital world. And the speed with which society is changing is often driven by our technology. Uh, the industrial revolution or the invention of fire and the wheel. But because of the invention of the computer chip and all of the enabling ability that gives us, the speed of transformation of society is accelerating. And it's, it's demonstrated through some things, through computers, but also through electric cars, airplanes, and space travel. And as an astronaut, I'm sort of right out on the very edge of human experience. And to talk about the pace of change and how technology and society are transforming the perspective I've had orbiting the world was hopefully one that was useful to everybody attending uh, the conference here today. The life of an astronaut is a different one. Some of the experiences are marvelous to, to fly a rocket ship, to, to do a spacewalk, to go outside. But to me, the real interesting part of it is what does it mean to you as an individual? How does an astronaut get ready for something incredibly difficult? How do you deal with danger in your life? How do you prepare for something very, very difficult that probably will never even happen and still maintain a good attitude? What, what do you learn from pushing yourself to the very limit? And how can that be useful to somebody else? To me, the ideas are interesting, but how they affect other people's decision making, how you how you communicate those ideas to other people and what, those, what they do with those ideas, that's the real interesting and satisfying part for me. I dreamed of being an astronaut since I was a little kid. I decided to be an astronaut when I was nine years old. I studied and trained 26 years later, I flew in space and I served as an astronaut for 21 years. So the, the mere act of going into space is one event in a lifetime of changing myself, of focusing on doing something different. Uh, so you can't just look at the, the mirror. It's like asking an Olympic sprinter, what do you think crossing the finish line changed in your whole life? It was the decades and decades of work that really changed who that person was. Similarly, for what changed me, I, I evolved myself and kind of turned myself into a person who could command a spaceship. But I don't want to belittle the, the humbling and magnificently beautiful experience of spaceflight itself. To see the entire world in an hour and a half. I've been around the world 2,650 times. I've, I've gone from one side of the solar system to the other while I was on board a ship to watch the entire world swap from winter to summer, like the world taking a breath. I think it gave me a much more accurate uh, unfiltered perception of the world, a sense of the toughness and the resilience and the beauty and the age of the world itself. It also made me an eternal optimist. You realize how transient our little concerns are, our great noisy day-to-day -day focuses, and, and put it into the proper perspective, I think, and, and just how long the world has been here and it's seen so much worse than us. We tend to be very egotistical and myopic. Um, and we do have problems we need to face, but we've, we've dealt with tough things in the past. And so I, I think space flight, if it teaches you anything, it teaches you humility and optimism. Never in the history of our species on Earth have we done a better job of taking care of each other. There are more people educated. There are less children dying of childhood diseases. We've eradicated entire diseases on Earth. Um, there are, there are more, less people going to bed hungry tonight than at any time in history. The number of people in abject poverty over the last 50 years has, has been uh, decreased dramatically. It's a really interesting time in the continued improvement of our species. And that has come purely as the result of scientific invention, our ability to take care of ourselves. It comes at a cost. We have a responsibility. If we want 11 billion of us, which is where we, I think, will peak as a population to continue to be healthy, then we have to have a more sustainable way of, of taking care of everyone. But it's not an unsolvable problem. But it's going to take scientific understanding and then 
the operational application and political implementation of those scientific ideas. So in order to take care of ourselves, we need to understand the universe around us, but we also need the responsibility in order to make those decisions in, in, a, uh, in a sustainable and long-term fashion. But at the heart of it, at the heart of it, is scientific understanding and pushing back the edges of our ignorance. If you want to successfully collaborate as a team, number one is have a common goal. What does success look like? If everybody in the team is unclear as what success looks like, then they're very unlikely to make all of the small decisions necessary to move the whole team in the direction you want. So I think the first important step is to mutually agree what does success look like. The next is, do you have the skills on your team to succeed or not? And if you don't, start getting them. Give everyone the opportunity to constantly train and educate and improve who they are so that they can move the team towards where you want to go. And then the third is be willing to fail as safely as you possibly can. Recognize that things are going to go wrong, so anticipate failure. Give people the permission and the opportunity to try stuff out under as safe a set of circumstances as you can so that they can eradicate things that weren't going to work as early as possible. The relentless iteration of goal, skills, and, and incremental failures as you work towards greater and greater successes. And then the last piece is communications. Constant feedback. How are we doing? How are you doing? What tools don't you have? Where are we trying to get to? Where are we in the process? That, that, that iteration of goals, skills, uh, repeated efforts and failure, and then celebrating and communicating the successes. To me, whether it's just within your family, your business, your town, your country, or your planet, that's how we succeed.